Hello, this is a tutorial on how to play Gran Turismo 3 using a steering wheel on the PC SX2 emulator. I am using the Logitech G920 Xbox steering wheel, so if you have a different steering wheel, you might need to change a few steps, but most of it should still work. Assuming you have a Logitech steering wheel, the first step is to download and install the Logitech gaming software. Once you plug in the steering wheel into the PC and plug it into the power socket, the steering wheel should show up on the Logitech gaming software. The next step is to configure the PC SX2 emulator to recognize the steering wheel input. Make sure that the X input checkbox is disabled so that your controller doesn't show up twice. Let's fix the wheel axle left and right. We have two problems. First is that the emulator has a default dead zone and Gran Turismo 3 also has a hard-coded dead zone. In order to counter this, first set the dead zone in the emulator to zero on both the right and left. Then set the skip dead zone to 0 0.320 on both the right and left. Of course, the skip dead zone is only good for Gran Turismo 3. If you have a different game, then it might feel wrong with this setting. Adjust the skip dead zone for each game depending on the game's dead zone. Let's set the accelerator pedal and the brake pedal. Personally, I like to set acceleration to R2 and brake to L2 and clutch also to L2. This allows me to set the cross, circle, square, and triangle to the respective buttons on the Xbox steering wheel so that the layout resembles a controller. One thing to note is that you want to have the flip checkbox checked for both the brake and clutch, assuming that you're using them for the brake. This is because if you don't have this checked, then the controls will be reversed. This means if you don't press the pedal, then you will brake. If you press the pedal, then you will stop braking. Obviously, this is not what we want, so we make sure this is checked. Also, these settings are the ones that I personally like. However, if you want to play with a different dead zone and sensitivity, you can fiddle around with the controls until you find something that works for you. After you're done setting your controls, you might want to save your bindings to have them ready for another time. All right, let's run the game, and then we need to set a few things in game. The first thing you want to set is the widescreen setting. I assume that your emulator already has widescreen enabled, and that you've already bumped up the resolution to match that of your monitor. So we need to do the same thing in the option. So let's change this to 16 by 9. The next thing to change is to disable the driving assist. So we want to make sure that the game responds one to one for what we're doing with the steering wheel. Finally, since I personally set the accelerator to R2 and set the brake to L2, I need to set my configuration so that it matches my layout. So shift up, I like to set it to square. And shift down, I like it to set it to cross. And then we put acceleration to R2 
and break to L2. After you're done, don't forget to save your game and then test your game. So let's do a simple track. So I'm going to steer slightly to the left and slightly to the right. I'm barely moving my steering wheel, but I can get a good response already. I'm going to press the gas pedal, release the gas pedal, that works. Press the brake, release the brake. 